Hi guys, uh, I'm presenting this video just as a way for anybody who doesn't have any solid background either in either, in either programming or uh, Homer 2 uh, who's trying to learn. I had myself uh, quite a difficult time figuring things out. So I'm trying to offer a little bit of help out there. Um, first things first is you head over to the Homer website. It's homer fnearsorg uh, once you're there, you have a couple tabs, home, documentation, tutorials, download, forum, etc. Uh, the most helpful ones will be the tutorials, uh, the download, and the forum, and this little guy over here. Um, first, for the documentation, it actually does have the link to download the file. Um, so download basically has the same link. Um, but also in documentation, you have uh, a little bit of info of what's included. Uh, so you have uh, sample data and Colin is the uh, one of the Atlas heads, and then Atlas Viewer One. Uh, you also do have the tutorials in the same tab. It's a little bit redundant, but you have Training Session One and Training Session Two, which are both about an hour long, and they cover quite a bit. Uh, but it will be a lot of things that uh, if you're new to it, you may not grasp firsthand. It's still worth a peek, but it may be a little bit uh, too complex for any beginners. Um, you also have several short videos, which I do think were a little bit more helpful and slightly less in depth, uh, as far for me at least, um, towards the end. It does dig in a little bit to Atlas as well. Um, after that, you do have the forum. Uh, the forum is extremely helpful for both both post questions and to read questions. Uh, you first have to sign up. Uh, you put your email address, you can put your name if you want, put a password and subscribe. Soon after you'll be admitted into it. Uh, and you can also view the archive. The archive uh, I've been digging through. Um, it starts back in 2003 and goes all the way up to today. It gives you a nice long list of questions uh, being answered, problems being answered, and you also get to see the development of Homer uh, if, if anything interesting, but it also provides a little bit of help as to what's going on in the background. Uh, once you're at the website, uh, you will need to obviously download Homer, but you also need um, more than likely to convert your files. Uh, if you have either a Hitachi machine or an IREX file, you have code that is given. Uh, you will have to um, change it slightly uh, to match your either your computer, your files, or your data. Um, but it's at least it's the skeleton is at least there for you. Uh, we we have the Nyrex file and we've adapted it um, to fit our data. And when, once you run the data through that, it converts it nicely and you can feed it into Homer. And it's not too complicated. Um, but once you have that, we can go to the download page, which I'll go to the link given here. Uh, download is right here. It takes a handful of minutes. It's nothing terrible. Uh, once you get it, it comes with the entire pack. You'll have to unzip it and everything. Um, if you ever do need access to the source code, it's right over here in the corner. Uh, just click source code. You will have to sign in, but as you can see here, you will have uh, sign-ins right over here. And you will also need a, an SVN. Uh, we use the Tortoise SVN, which I think at least gives you a little bit of introduction. But that's about the, the basics of the website and where to go and where to get started. Uh, I'll have a couple more videos on exactly what to do when you download it. Um, a couple on how to convert the Nyrex uh, file to Nears and how to possibly you may have to possibly adapt it. Um, I'll also, any, any problems I come across, I'll try to post a few five minute videos to add a little bit more documentation in the world for anybody starting in this so they don't have to fry their brain as much. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to anyone, uh, and I'll hopefully have a few more uh, shortly.